My Vampire Experience by Squashua I'm an avid pen and paper role-playing gamer. Original D&D, a bunch of different supers games, Paranoia, Call of Cthulhu, what have you. At college, I joined the local game club and was introduced to Vampire the Masquerade. All the popular gamers were playing, and I was bored. It was dull, and the players were pretentious. Eventually, I made my way to various game conventions. Origins, Marcon, Gen Con, and various local conventions around the Cincinnati, Dayton, Columbus area. And each time, I'd see these people running around in full goth gear with their arms crossed. After asking what the hell was going on, I discovered they were playing Vampire as a LARP. Alright, I'd give it a try. I'm told to go make a character. So I do, I guess. I grab a book and fill in some circles, and then I'm done and hand in my character. And then I'm told to go play. But I don't know how, and no one is about to teach me. So, fuck it, a half hour wasted trying to come up with a character, and another hour spent trying to get people who have their arms crossed and their mouths closed to talk to me. Through observation of a few conventions, and a couple additional cracks of the rulebook, I twig to what's going on and what needs to be done. I locate a vampire LARP that takes place weekly in downtown Cincinnati at a golf club, which happens to be a male strip joint on the weekends. I pal up with some guy I had started hanging out with who I met at the comic store, and I gave it one more go. No, the vampire LARP thing isn't happening. The comic guy knows some people, but He's not really helping out with the game, and I'm just not getting into it. Everyone is too into themselves and being their own outsiders to actually let an outsider play. Fuck it. So, out of college now, I get on the internet and various other means and advertise to start a local role-playing game. I get some responses and four very nice players, and after a few one-shot game sessions, we agree to play a modern superhero setting for a campaign. We make up characters, and the next game session, everyone will drop by and I'll make it all work. That's the toughest part about being a GM. The first adventure. You all meet up in a bar. You all have to solve the same crisis simultaneously. I call bullshit. Superhero team-ups should feel natural. So here's what I got. An amnesiac background who thinks he's some sort of green lantern? A mutant who made a name for himself, saving a school bus with his telekinetic and psychic powers. Another mutant who has showy shadow powers who wants to make a name for himself. And a world-famous witchy sorceress, Morgana, Mistress of the Night. Elvira meets Zatanna. I decide to base the team-up adventure around a crisis at a public appearance of Morgana's, specifically her being a guest of honor at ConCon 16. Yep, placed it at a game convention. Long story short, after a couple of blatant red herrings, the antagonists end up being the people in charge of the vampire LARP and White Wolf in general. Turns out they really are vampires, and their appearances at game conventions are roundups to get faithful servants and meals. I mean, who'd miss a few gamers? The heroes take down the mob, but the big baddies get away. And it was getting late and we had to stop for the night. So, that's when it hits me. I make some arbitrary rolls for ideas, clues, etc. And then I inform the group that we'll meet outside the vampire LARP later that week, a half hour after it starts. I told them to dress as your superhero character if he or she was dressed as a vampire LARPer. I dress up in a full purple slash gray tweed pimp outfit that I snagged for a pimps and hoes party from the prior year. At the established time, everyone shows up, except one guy, but that's fine. Outside the club, everyone is dressed up nicely, dark and spooky. Morgana is slutified to the max, and she's hot normally. Psychic Dave is wearing leather studs and a maroon snap button shirt with a black t-shirt and black jeans, and Shadow Man, Morgana's husband, is in a dark trench and hat with black shirt underneath and black pants. I explain that tonight I am still their GM no matter what goes on inside the club. They will be playing as their super characters. 
none of their characters ever had experience with the game, except Morgana and her only in a passing sense. We are here investigating leads into the actual vampires posing as LARPers case. Our goal for the night is to get into a back room of the club that I knew physically existed and that all the vampire gamers seem to be able to get to, but only if you were really high on the gaming totem pole. Meaning, if you weren't in the click, you weren't getting in. Once we get in there, I'll call time and we'll decide on what to do then. From this moment onwards, I say, I will take the role of Jimmy, a Jimmy Olsen gamer NPC they befriended in the prior game. A sidekick, if you will, who is supposedly the most experienced player. And yet, all three of these people played a hell of a lot more vampire than I ever had, did, or will. I explain, as Jimmy, that we'll all be playing Malkavians, the crazy clan, and we're first time gamers from out of town, say Atlanta, looking for some hot gaming action. Shadow Man tells me we're better off just saying we're college students from a somewhat out of town university, probably Miami, and amateur vampire LARPers. I frown, in character, and say fine, and mentally give Shadow Man some bonus XP. I pay everyone's $5 entry fee, and we're in. We meet up with the GM, and everyone lets me handle it. I explain that we're Malks, and looking for some hot... I get interrupted by Shadow Man, who takes over with the background he proposed earlier. More XP for Shadow Man. We fill in our characters. I'm a pimp, Morgan is my hoe, Shadow Man is my enforcer, and Psychic Dave, who is using his telekinesis on the dice, success, XP for RP, XP for attempt, is my druggie slash cohort slash number two. We lurk around the club and chat up various gamers. I listen to the conversations and I hear Morgana trying to find real vampires, XP. Psychic Dave gets Shadow Man to rough someone up, rock, paper, scissors, and eventually we charm our way towards the back room. On the way there, we're accosted by some frumpy guy in gray. Not all dressed up or anything, more like half-assed goth college student outfit. He looks at us and smiles. I heard, but I didn't know it was true. Malkavians? I have an actual clan! For those of you who don't know, Malkavians and Vampire are like... Uh... Kender in Dragonlands, for lack of a better analogy. Played right, they're downright evil, but in general they're disregarded as that annoying goofy shit group, which, us being Malks, would certainly account for any weird activity. So this guy, this poor sap, I feel for him, all alone, gaming by himself, a clan of one, and then suddenly he has four instant friends. Then again he has four instant friends he, as a high level Malk, can push around. So, instead of getting anywhere on his bad side, I tell him some people were looking for him outside. Where the werewolf players were hanging out. No, seriously. No werewolves allowed inside. So, he goes. We get to the back, where there is some sort of huge prince shit going down. And this short fat girl is trying to push through our group, screaming, Majesty! Majesty! And waving her hand in front of her face. I think it's a magic vampire power, but she just looked ridiculous. And she was rude. No, excuse me, just shove, shove, shove through us. So we mocked her. Openly. She looked annoyed. So we sit in the back room and watch the group chat, and Shadow Man presents a list of names and likely vampires, and he says Morgana and Psychic Dave have added to the list. It's long. XP, XP, XP. We've been there all of four hours now, goofing around and having fun, but it's a work night and it's late, which is enough for all of us. So I round us up and say, follow me, and I walk right up to the vampire meeting and listen in close, close, close. I'm right up to the prince and I see what they're doing. It's about 12 people, half with their arms crossed, surrounding four people who are all playing rock, paper, scissors, and debating rules. Nothing groundbreaking here at all. Just mindless. Mindless! Where's the role in role-playing? This was the big fun I was trying to get to months earlier? Forget it. At this point, I yell, 
Time out! Okay, XP time, and start openly allocating experience to my players. You get 30 hero points for this, you get 25 hero points for that, right then and there. The LARPers are puzzled, and watch. Then I'm all, you guys wanna hang out? To my players. No, we're good. Okay, let's go. Psychic Dave turns and says, one more thing. Then he rips open his snap button shirt, and on his black t-shirt, he must have done it in whiteout, but on his black t-shirt is a huge stylized PD, and he hollers, Psychic Dave to the rescue! And we walk out of there, never to come back. Coda. Several months later, I am in a bar at a con relating this story, and one listener's eyes light up, and he says, That was you? I was so happy to have a clan, and you guys were gone! It was my Malkavian friend! A really nice guy. He and I became friends, and we played a few pen and paper Cthulhu with him since. Neither he nor I had been back to the Vampire LARP since that night. Hi guys, thanks for checking out My Vampire Experience. If you want to read the original text, you can find it in the description. This episode was illustrated by the very talented Eva Svensson. Today's honorable mention is... Is the speed of light constant in your universe? Another story about how a LARP didn't go quite as expected.